Thanks for joining us. We're trying to save you money this Mother's Day weekend, but some things none of us can control. Get ready to shell out big bucks to make mom happy. Take a look at this graphic. For most folks, this will be the most expensive Mother's Day ever, according to the National Retail Federation. Between inflation, gas prices, supply shortages, it's all rolling into one big headache for you and for businesses here. Brad Broder spoke to a Memphis florist about what you can expect. We're still waiting on boxes to come in for tomorrow and hopefully they'll get here for Mother's Day, but we've gotten 60 boxes in last night of flowers. Inside Rachel's flowers and gifts on the Friday before Mother's Day, it's the busiest time of the year and the most stressful in years. The prices are up, the, the freight system is not covering the full markets, you know, so we're working hard just to get the flowers here as fast as we can. Owner Rachel Greer said that double whammy of inflation and the global supply crunch means bouquets and arrangements aren't what they used to cost. Last year, my average order was 65 to 75. My average order this year is 125. Greer said the price surge is impacting everything from the cost per stem to vases, large or small. Our glassware has doubled. I mean, I'm a regular every night at a Goodwill store trying to get glass. With this Mother's Day expected to be the most expensive on record, Area Florist offered these suggestions on how to celebrate mom or cost effectively, but without losing the care or creativity. You have to leave it open. Give us some wiggle room. Let us figure out what's going to give you the most value for your money and make the prettiest presentation. Greer suggested other alternatives to still make mom happy. We're having to substitute though with pretty patio pots, pretty European gardens, things that have more longevity than cut flowers. The florist said she's up front with her customers about the cost differences this year and worked with them to find certain flower type alternatives to best fit their budget and still make mom smile this Mother's Day. In Midtown Memphis, I'm Brad Broders. Now more on those numbers from the National Retail Federation. Flowers, greeting cards, and special outings are the top three gift categories for this year. 75% of us will get mom a card, 72% will buy her flowers, and 57% have planned special outings.